This is Chay Pope and welcome to the show. One thing that I know to be true, people like good music. I'm from Boston. I think that's even an advantage in some ways. Like, I, you know, I grew up in the inner city in Boston. Every step of the way, it was like a rite of passage. Like, you wanted to play on the local basketball court. It took a point where you had to be like, hey, I got next and not get it taken from you. So every step of the way, it's been like a rite of passage and earning it. Even getting music gear, you know, back in the day was so expensive. Like, I couldn't afford that. So I would just hang out in the music store and I had to befriend the, you know, the people in the music store so they wouldn't kick me out. I had to just find a way. And I think every time I just persevered and just kept finding a way. So I grew up in the heyday of hip, what I feel like was the best era of hip hop. So like, you know, Karis One and Big Daddy Kane, Rakim, I grew up on all that. And then in addition to that, I went from the inner city to the suburbs where I went to school. So be, having that sort of that being in these different communities, if you will, that I was introduced to rock, I was introduced to punk rock, I was introduced to so much more, a lot of singer-songwriter stuff, you know. So by the time I was 16 and I was really into music, you know, I, w I was like a walking, you know, encyclopedia. It doesn't matter what I would be doing in life, I would always be doing music. I'd be a garbage man, I'd be doing music. Working with Kanye and working at Good Music, I think it was an invaluable lesson in terms of like, culture and presenting, you know, and presenting an artist and so forth. And it was like learning about what to do, but also what not to do. Where the failures in the system would take place, where the disconnect with, you know, working with Def Jam and Universal would take place. I realized that the music business was so reactive and, and to be progressive for an artist, you have to be proactive. The way music has been received by people has been different, right? Meaning everyone's consuming it on their phone. So I started seeing a void in the industry of what was necessary. And, and that's what Workshop was born out of. It was born from this void um, where emerging artists were no longer really getting supported. If you go back 10, 15 years ago, you would go to a record company to find your audience. You fast forward to 2021, 2022, they expect you to find your audience and then the record company finds you after you find the audience. You could be an amazing artist, but you would get overlooked. So, you know, we just needed to bring the balance to that. And that's what Workshop is, really to really support artists, helping and giving them leverage and owning in their art. I call it a lifestyle company because um, music has such influence. You know, music has influenced fashion, it's influencing sneakers, it's all, it, the culture is just so embedded in each other. And that's really what, if you go back to kind of what hip hop is about, it, it's, it's, a, it's a whole thing, right? It's an aesthetic, it's, it's dancing, it's the music, it's the visuals, so on and so forth. So we have to be in these verticals. We have to be in fashion. We have to be in the metaverse and the NFT space. We have to be in the content. And that's what Workshop is in a nutshell. Bringing Workshop to Detroit, it's just a special place, I think, already. I don't wanna be one of those people that come to a community and take from the community. I want to come and I want to work with the community and be a part of it and be a fabric in it. You know, you want to you want to plant the seed in the most fertile soil you can. Detroit is a city that's so rich in culture and just so rich in in the history of music and art and so forth. And then you know, there had been an exodus from Detroit. You know, Motown was there for however many years, and then it left. There needs to be a place for all this talent in this region to have, you know, to feel like it go, you know, Detroit should be a Nashville, it should be at Austin, it should be in Atlanta, it should be restored to that. And we could be a part of that story. I think this is one of the most purposeful things that I've uh, done in my career. It's a journey of, you know, it's, it, it's joyful. Like, you know, it's like, it's not work when you stay up at night and you're doing what you love. It's getting these kids to where they're trying to go, you know what I mean, and be a part of their journey. So that's what keeps me up at night, making that happen.